Representative, I see the Honorable Member from Calgary East standing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and congratulations on your election to Speaker of the House. My name is Peter Singh, and today I rise with the great honor to speak the Assembly as a representative from Calgary East. I am incredibly proud to have been entrusted with the opportunity to sit in the Assembly by the people of my constituency. I am humbled to have been entrusted with rep representing the people of such a diverse, hardworking, and unique population. I am honored to follow in the footsteps of three great MLAs before me, who are as unique and diverse at, as my constituency. Calgary East has retained three previous members to this chamber, and their backgrounds are truly remarkable. From Mr. Ludwig in the 1960s, who was a lawyer and second old old veteran. Mr. Amiri, who served for many years. With his son now, my colleague in this government. And Ms. Love, who was a teacher before entering the public life. My constituents are just as unique with thousands of my constituents working in trade, manufacturing, sales and service, healthcare, agriculture, even the arts. Calgary East paints a diverse portrait of the roles and responsibilities Albertans carry with them every day. And of that, I am proud. I hope that I will be able to live up to the expectations of my colleagues in the government caucus every other member of this assembly, past, present, and future, and most importantly, the expectations set, set by my constituents. My experience while door knocking made me aware of the important issues the community in the Calgary East constituency are facing. Many of the concerns the community had voiced were around financial insecurity. During the recent years, Albertans in my community have been faced with tremendous amount of job losses that have greatly impacted their families. As the cost of food, gas, and housing are increasing, the job opportunities for Albertan, Albertans are declining. As people become unemployed, crime rates and use of illegal drugs have increased where communities are frequently faced with issues of theft and break-ins. <laughs> Education was also an important topic brought forward among the community members, where questions were asked around the increased class sizes and programs were voiced. Seniors of, seniors of the community who also raised issues regarding the lack of facilities and programs that can help support the lifestyle of the senior population in Calgary East. As the number of seniors are increasing and Alberta having the highest rate, rates of early onset of dementia in Canada. More attention is needed in pro programs provided for seniors. Calgary East consists of small businesses that are facing difficulty due to the downturn in the economy which makes it very tough for business owners to operate financially. The building of new pipelines will open many job opportunities for many Albertans. The elimination of the carbon tax will support the financial stability of Albertans. The reduction in corporate taxes will help job creators to reinvest in Alberta as the corporate tax will be the lowest in the country from its lowest from 12% to 8% by 2022. Of course, like many of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, my constituency has changed over the years, most recently with the past election. Having been in existence for 26 years now, Calgary is seized on the, in the eastern edge of the city, stretching from the Bow River to the city limits at 116th Street. Running from north to south, Calgary East runs from Trans-Canada Highway to the Pagan Trail. 
Calgary is his home to fantastic communities such as Southview, Aaron Woods, Applewood Park, Abbeydale, Forest Heights, Fonda, Forest Lawn, East Dover, Penbrook Meadows, and mobile homes. My constituency is home to businesses both large and small, residential areas and industrial areas, and newly constructed neighborhoods. Calgary East is truly is a microcosm of all that makes Calgary great, and I am so proud to have the privilege to represent my neighbors, friends, and families in this legislature. 17th Avenue Southeast underwent a trans transformation as bus rapid transit, BRT project was completed and Calgary's new rap rapid transit, transit system called MAXED, launched in November 2018. The transit route known, known as Max Papel begins at East Side Shopping Center and connects to downtown allowing individuals to commit throughout the city with ease. While I was not born in Calgary East, I have come to call it home and come to love it. Like many of my constituents, I'm extremely blessed to be a Canadian by choice, not by chance. Since moving to Calgary, I have become family and trust in the culture and heart of my city, my province, and my country. Mr. Speaker, I immigrated to Canada from the Fiji Islands in 1987, settled in Ontario for a few years. My lovely wife, Rena, who I met while she was vacationing in Fiji, and I got married that year in Ontario. I worked part-time and attend attended Centennial College and late later graduated and worked proudly as a licensed automotive journeyman. My, old, my wife also did the same while working on her nursing program. I was in Calgary in 1992 for wedding with my wife and baby boy, and there were so many opportunities at that time that we moved and settled, settled here in 1993. It was the right direction, so we opened our small business in Calgary East worked hard to build our business, which also helped me to connect with the constituents of Calgary East. I am very proud to have chosen to settle in Calgary. I am a proud father to my son Kishan and daughter Komal. Like many other Canadians who own and operate their businesses, businesses I have become crushed by pointless regulations, increased taxes that has hampered my business, as well as thousands of others across my constituency in our great province. I am deeply humbled and would like to acknowledge the community members and the hundreds of volunteers that took time out to take part in the election. I would like to give a warm thank you to my constituents in Calgary East for entrusting me to represent you. Now, I am here standing in this chamber for my constituents. I have heard from them time and time again about the need to get our province back, to, back on track. And I, along with my, with my colleagues in the government caucus, are ready to do just that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.